Assalamualaikum. Today I'm going to tell you the story of Nuh alayhi salam. Well, he was sent to earth when thousand years after the first prophet Adam alayhi salam. So, and those the and the disbelievers they forgot about Allah so you know what they you know what they did. They worshipped the idols. Powerless and they cannot see he or talk. And then Nuh came and then preached to his people about about the about Allah. He, he told them them for many years. Many years went past, and then he kept on preaching. But someone hit them on the head. A stone. Who was even beaten with the sticks? And then they thought that he was a prophet, not just an ordinary man. So what? No. No way. And then he lost hope in them. And so, when he was praying, Allah told him, Don't be sad, Nuh. I'm going to punish all of, all of them. But the, but the good Muslims are, and the animals aren't going to die. So, and then, and then Allah told him to plant many trees for one, then he did it for 100 years. He even helped the, then he told the good, good Muslims that, to, to help as well. And then, and then, and then Allah commanded him to build a ship. Muhammad mm. no, was confused because no, because they didn't know how to to build a ship. No one built a ship before. Then they start making plans. And then they were cutting, cutting trees for wood, wood for the ship. And then, and then they cut down the trees. And yes, I know what you might be thinking, the trees they planted 100 years later after then then the ship was ready when the flood when the flood was almost coming the animals went on the ship there was like three different sections the bottom one was for the animals. The top, the the second one was for humans. 
The top one was for birds. And then, I want to them the, the time the, of the flood, flood, you'll see water coming out of the stones. <laughs> but how would water come up of stones? But when he saw it, he, he, he was waiting for this. He told all the good Muslims that were that helped him to build his ship and and his family. Everyone, everyone did except one of his wives and sons. Son. This the son said, "I'm going to protect myself from from the water. Don't worry about me." And then, then, then when the water was coming up, they immediately went in the ship, closed the entrance, boom, they were in. And then everyone realized what the prophet said was very true. They ran towards the mountains to save themselves. Then he saw his one of his one of his wives and sons on the mountain and then he said then he shouted Come aboard the ship save yourselves and then they didn't didn't but then a wave bigger than the mountain went over them and killed them. And then the other people got killed as well. Yeah, and then then Nuh Alaihissalam said Bismillah, and then then they started moving. The rain had stopped, but the did you know that the earth was covered with water that's why they made the ship they were sailing that they were sailing for 250 days and then more and then after after more than 150 days he got a crow to, to see if it, if it find any land and it never came back. And then and, and then he sent a dove to find land. It went off and then went for a lot of then it went for a long time and then came back an olive tree leaf inside its beak. They were happy and then when they went on a mountain they then Nuh said Bismillah and then it stopped and then everyone went went out of the ship. And you might be thinking, did the animals hurt each other? No. You know how much people there were? 80 people in it. And then, he, he made the, the grave for the, for the silent sheep, even for the violent lions. All the animals and then they were on the earth then the animals were happy be and the and and the prophet and the other the Muslims and his family were happy be to to be back on the earth again 
So, so, this entire earth was filled with water. Here was filled with water. If you live in Eagle Bee, in flooded Eagle Bee, if you, if you, if you live in, in Tukia, it flooded Tukia, it flooded everywhere. Africa, Australia, the United States, everywhere. All water. That was the punishment of Allah. It's not like the floods that happen in one place. It's a big flood. So, thanks for watching and bye for now.